Even my testimony is all about God. For me to be alive is God. Yeah, my wind testimony if you want. Yeah, like now about my just my testimony even big I need to exam it. Like now you look at my legs there. Me, I've never told even my wife that there was a time when they hit me here with the bennet. Did you see? No, I've never seen <laughs> that one. <laughs> even my wife doesn't know I have never seen it. Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? Yeah. Hmm? I've never told anybody. Have you done that? Okay, you know, when, there was a time when I tried to rescue. This one, you know. Then of Diambo, there's a guy called Diambo. <laughs> there's a guy called Diambo. That's that? when he hit me with the bandage. Give your legs. From Go, show you us your know, legs. You know, when I was young, they abducted us many, many children. Mm. Just lift oh, up please. your lift up your legs. <laughs> Show us your legs again. Let us do it after day and open the place. You see, these are the legs. This is a walking thing. Mm. Nice this thing for walking. Yeah, and what happened there? This is for walking. Of course, when you're in the bush. This is the thing. That, that was when you're running away yeah. from carrying. Not even running, just carrying things, moving. You know, you're carrying things, you're moving with them. You don't even know what, what has happened in your yeah, head. You, you, you just move. So what happened? And who hit you with the bayonet? <laughs> this one, when I tried to escape. From home. And when they get us here yeah, from, the, from the bush there, when they get me, they had to discipline you. Who some, were you running some, from? Some people from Cone. Joseph Carney. Some people, they just killed them. But for me, because I, have, I had a call upon my life, I believe that. So they couldn't kill me, they just have to punish me. So they hit me here, the yeah. back. It was a big, big wound. I'm seeing good, huh? It was a very, very big wound. And no medicine, medication, you don't put anything there. So you just survive. But somehow, you know, when you have a call of God upon your life, you don't die. die. I remember before I became born again, I saw the light. And even before, I, I went through all these kind of things. So the light I saw, I believe God was protecting me. God protected me after the moment where I reached a place where I struggled, when I lost everything about me. I lost, me I lost everything. If someone said they lost thing, me I lost everything about me. And I came in, I moved out, when I escaped, the day we escaped from there, it was out, it was, there was a battle between the LRA and then the government soldiers. How old were you then? Yeah? When I was a young boy, when I was just young, it was in 1995. I was a young man by that time. So when I lost the look, when I came when I came out, people they first order people to run away. You know when 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 the fighting become hard, Peter. Mm. When the thing become hard, they run away. So for me, I remained down there. Remain down there, but three of us. So what happened after remaining down? We escaped from there, and we came out. My sister has been taking care. My sister took care of me for a good time, for some good time until when things become hard. Yeah, for 22 years in the bush, Kwan has been using, using witchcraft. He could use witchcraft to fight the soldiers. Kwan could, call, could command the bees to fight with the, the, the army, the, the government, with the army government. So it was hard for Kwan to fight, for the government to fight Kwan. There are times when people go, they could set them in ambush. When they are in ambush, he command the bees to fight the soldiers. Bees. The, the bees, yeah, they, they could command the bees, so they, there's no way where they could fight. Sometimes there's too, there's heavy rain, you could command just rain with a storm where no one could stand around and then they could kill many soldiers, something like that. Then after some time, when they left, when they moved to, to, to Congo, to Sudan side, Congo, Sudan there, the, the government sent soldiers to a certain mountain called Aliak. So from that mountain, the water, there was a water there they used as a source of their power. So this water was purely blood, the real blood. So that's where they used to get the social power, they, they drink that water. So the blood... And, and they bury people's, their people's head there, they cut people's head. Most people, they had buried down there so that they get power. So, because they yeah. were doing witchcraft. Yeah. And all the demons, all the demons, they do all the sacrifice from that place. But when the government took over that place, the born again Christian, most Christian who are in Uganda here, they went there for prayers. And when they went there, they found those kind of skulls. People's age where they had buried down there and removed them. And then the water, they even, the water even dried up, dried down from there. And from that very moment after now, their source of power, they, they became so weak. Is that just when Kony started getting Yeah, that's out of why Uganda? he began from, that's his own place. 
That's his own, his own village. And where is that? that? Con started fighting with just only when he was a young, a young, a young boy. He used to ambush people with a stone. Children from school. When he was young, he could ambush them with a, with a stone. He could run ahead of children when people were getting out from school at five pupils from five in the evening. For him, he ran ahead and ambush people. So they, they, they say that the first person, well, he, he got a gun, he got one gun. One time there was a soldier who went back for, for the leave. So for him, he had, a, he had a stone and he hit this man from the head. So when they hit this guy from the head, he got one gun, only one gun. He went with only one gun in the bush. So he used that one gun to recruit many people. And then from there, he had the power from demons. So demons could use him. So when some of the people tried to follow him up, he could kill many people and they gained, that's yeah. how they gained, they began yeah. getting many guns. So even from that time, even they could kill government soldiers and that's how they could begin, that's how they began getting guns up to now. And now, right now he's wicked, he has been wicked. He's weak now, not like those days yeah. where he used to be so strong, where it caused many people to stay in the camp, people died in the camp, they could kill even 300 people in one day in a camp, but these days they fear they don't, they don't come this side. Right now they're in, so they're in Congo, Congo Sudan there. So where was the um, water that turned the blood? Where was that Gulu? It was well, the water is in Gulu in Aliyaki, northern yeah. Uganda. And that was his home. That's where his own place. And when the Christians parents. came in and prayed, removed the skulls. Yeah, they prayed and they removed those things, and their his power again became his down. His power became weak, and, yeah. he, and that's when he left Uganda. Yeah, that's when he had to leave Uganda completely. Oh yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Now that's now right now he's in Congo, but even in Congo he's, he's not very strong like the way he used to be in Uganda. Yeah. Because those days he could fight witchcraft was so heavy on him, but right now his demons are not fighting well. Yeah. God has taken over everything. I believe that because Amen. he's too weak. He's just running actually all the time. He's just running. Yeah. He's just on the run all the time. Now there was another another hill. Uh, that uh, uh, that hill is is almost going towards Sudan. That hill is where Kony, Kony got, used to get his power. Uh, that hill, it was a dangerous hill. It has some uh, water log. Is that up in Gulu? It is beyond Gulu. Beyond Gulu. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it, it, it has a, a water log, and that water, that water, uh, Kony could go and fall in, and it could disappear. With their own power, they go and draw it from there. Now, when the government had no now solution because the war was intensified, these people were, they were killing people. They slaughter you. They ask you, "Do you want to laugh or do you want to, 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 to keep quiet?" If you want to, to, to laugh, they cut all your lips, yeah, and then your, your 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 teeth will remain out like that. That is laughing. That is a punishment. If you want to, to keep quiet, they, they lock you with a with a padlock. They pierce and they give you a padlock lock you completely. So it was a dangerous scenario. So people went under tortures. And then there was time they killed. Uh, they, they came in a village and, and they got people in a function. And then they kill one human being and they cook it in the pot and they want people to eat. Yeah. You don't kill, they want to kill you there and then. So it was a spirit. Yeah. So over that water, the church went uh, there is a pastor called Uyet. That was the, you know, by, by then the government gave now the power to the church. So they went and scoop away that water and the thing dry instantly. After prayers, dedicating that water and they scoop it away. That is when he began now uh, to lose the power. And then there was another mm -hmm. river, they told us he went there physically on top of water like Jesus. I tried to tell you uh, about how this power began because he, there was a sister of him called Alice Lakwena. Yep. Lakwena means Holy Spirit. And then he has a, a father. And then Kony, he called himself that is a God of the world. God, God the Son. Yeah. That's why he called his, his Hame Lord Resistant Hame. Then his father called himself that is God the Father. So all these things came from one family. And that's why there was a lot of insurgency in northern Uganda out of these city people. Yeah. Now, that, water, that river, even, even 
animals, monkey, what, what, they never drink that water, dies instantly. It was a dangerous whatever. But the soldiers took people, and when we reached there, prayer came so you, in. You went and prayed? Uh, I went with, there were a team, uh, there's a, a lady in Truth Fountain also called uh, uh, Jane Alira. There were a team from the of intercessors. We have a team of intercessors in northern Uganda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they are serious and cool. whenever God could take us anywhere. So now, uh, by, by on that day I did not go because I'm a little bit busy, but all these are my team who went there, those who we, we, we normally go for breaking those altars. So they went and over that, that, that water, they dedicated the water and they told me about what, what happened there. Even the soldiers like about uh, they told me about 50 soldiers who gave their life to Jesus because by then the war was so dangerous. So now from, from there, even the animal, what, what, could kill, could, 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 could die there. Any person who touches the water dies, soldiers died there. But when that day people went and they prayed and they touched the water, the soldiers got the testimony and they got saved so much. So that was the power of these people because the shrine speaks so, so strongly.